Fade. If there were a third option, I would take it. This is a true story. It happened to me about two months ago. I came into my room after hearing another terrible bad news as this has been the trend lately in my life. I was done. Literally, I was done and I just couldn't take it anymore. Hi ladies, um, you may be going through a moment like this where you're overwhelmed, where you just feel like the whole world is going to fall on your shoulder. I mean, maybe it's school, you're just overwhelmed with your papers and the projects and the upcoming exams, trying to do this and that, or maybe it's your grades that are just not getting any better. It's just going from worse to worse. Or maybe you're a single mom. I mean, this month of April, we have dedicated it to the SSU mom and you may be a single mom. You're just busy with school and you have a job and parenting, trying to meet payments, trying to single-handedly do everything. And you just feel like, oh my goodness, I'm just done i'm overwhelmed and my limit has exceeded so today i will illustrate this type of life incident and i'll share some advice if someone at that point had you know mentioned first corinthians 10 13 i would have not definitely not given any attention to that uh, we all know the verse in first corinthians 10 13 which says that no temptation has overtaken you that is not common to men God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability, but with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. Now, at that moment, I wasn't ready to listen to any verse like that because I felt like I was tempted. I was tempted way above and beyond my ability and I was just nothing. I was just, I was just done. Honestly, I was just done. And you know, ladies, if you've been in that kind of situation, you know how you're just, <laughs> I don't even think there's a word for you. You just, it's just done. There's nothing you can do. And, and I just sat down on the floor, um, just pouring my heart out to the Lord. And I would definitely advise you when you come to that point where you just feel overwhelmed and you can't take it anymore, take some time. Even if it's just five, ten minutes, take some time away from the noise, away from the distraction. Be, you know, you yourself and the Lord. Just take some time to be in the Lord's presence and pour yourself out to the Lord. Tell him what is in your heart, what is in your mind. And that's what I was doing. And I have to mention that even though I was discouraged and I was just, you know, done for, I still spoke uh, respectfully to the Lord, reverently to the Lord. And that is a temptation. Sometimes when we come to that point, we feel like we want to lash out in anger to the Lord and just, we want to just scream at him and tell him and no, but at that time, it's still important to recognize that he is God and we are not, and we still need to speak reverently to him. So I mentioned earlier about a third option, um, we all know that in the Bible, it talks about a narrow gate and talks about the wide gate, you know, and I was saying that if there were a third option, meaning that if, you know, it wasn't God, if it wasn't the devil, if there were a third option, I would definitely take it because, you know, I've been so, being, being persecuted for the Lord is, you know, that's something very challenging. And, you know, you may feel like that too, that you have stood alone for Christ, maybe on campus. You know, you have endured the shame, the blame, the humiliation, and so many things have happened to you. And you may feel like, I just, you know, what is this way of God that leads you to so many troubles and things like that? You know, you feel like if there were a forward option, you would definitely take it. But I thank the Lord that there is not, that it's only him or the devil. And definitely any day, I will still choose the Lord no matter what. And that's, how I, that's what I would say. Um, there is one big big advice that I will tell you all ladies is no matter what no matter what never ever 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 I don't know how many times I'm going to repeat ever but never ever lose your faith in the Lord never lose hope in him 
always trust in the Lord. What usually happens to me when I pour myself out to the Lord, the Holy Spirit will give me a verse of encouragement. So I went to pick up my Bible to read that passage. I wish I remembered what it was, but I forgot. And when we pour ourselves out to the Lord, it's us speaking to God. But then the communication will only be complete when God speaks to us. And that is through his word. And I would definitely encourage you ladies to read the word of God. Maybe the Holy Spirit will inspire something in your mind. Or maybe if you don't hear anything from the Holy Spirit, you may be repeating, for example, a verse that is dear to you, a Bible verse that you really love. Repeat that verse. You know, read the Bible you know, meditate on the word of God because that is God speaking to you. And it means so much. It means so much when the father speaks to us through his word because you know, at least, you know, we know that, oh, he cares. He's not just indifferent about what's happening, but he is there with us and he cares. So I prayed again and I was just asking the father for strength. I was asking him to help me trust in him. Um, in the midst of all the chaos and everything that was happening and I got up because I had other things um, other things to do so I left the room and I would say this when I left the room I didn't feel stronger I didn't feel on top of things I didn't leave like oh no now I'm just way better I'm feeling good no when I left the room I didn't feel stronger but this is one thing I felt. I felt like this is, it, it, it is well. I left knowing that it is well. The father is on his throne. He is here with me and it is well. A verse we know well in Isaiah 40 verse 31. It says, but they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. It's a verse we know really well. And one thing I like to say, sometimes we like to pray, oh God, renew my strength, renew my strength, renew my strength. But if we look at this verse, it says that renewed strength doesn't come automatically. But there's a condition. It says those that wait upon the Lord, those who trust in the Lord will have renewed strength. And it's only when we keep our eyes on Jesus, when we trust, when we take that decision, no matter what, to trust in the Lord, to wait upon the Lord, to hope in the Lord, that's when our strength will be renewed. And by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit, it is possible that, that he can renew that faith, he can renew that hope, and that he can fix our eyes continuously on Christ. And I can testify to you, ladies, that... The Lord has renewed my strength and he has been renewing my strength since then. So never, ever forget this. Trust in the Father no matter what. Prayer and the word of God in this kind of situation are your best friends. Let the Father encourage you through his word. Let him speak to you through his word. It is well, ladies. Remember, it is well in Jesus' name. Stay blessed as always.